So I've just unboxed a B450 Tomahawk Max. And one thing, one trend that I wish would change is the attachment of the AM3 Plus brackets. Being that the first thing I've done here, as I've taken it out of the box, is go to undo these brackets, which yes, they're standard, but why are they the standard, considering unless you're buying one of the cheaper AMD processors that are out there at the moment, that there is what you should be looking at, out of the box. So essentially if you've gone to yeah, purchase your brand new AM4 board and put in your Ryzen 3 or above, in this instance I'm putting a Ryzen 5 3600 in this board, First thing you gotta do is take, the, take these off, which considering the vast majority don't require it, they almost need to have like a little collar on here so the bracket stays on there by default and then they can include these if you require them rather than them being the norm. I almost reckon a little C-clip with these filed out just slightly to keep it attached because as soon as I disconnect this other side, it's going to drop down. So I'll proceed with doing that. Because one thing I end up having to do with a AB or a B350 motherboard that I was my test bench, since it was always standing upright, I end up double sided double siding tape the bracket on the back because every time I undid the cooler to change the processor it would fall down the back of the case and turn into a shit fight to get it out. So to me, that should be the norm with it properly attached rather than lifting it up and it falls out. So paying, paying for a premium board, I could imagine yeah, that C-clip, these slightly carved out, a C-clip over the top to hold that in there permanently. Anyway, that's my thoughts on a potential AM4 bracket attachment. Bye.